Hey, hey neighbors. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? I, for one, am a little sleepy, but it's good because I have my coffee. You get into the Death Wish coffee, the blueberry one, which I'm very, very excited about. It smells like blueberries. It's pretty good. So in line of what we're doing, what I did yesterday, um, I'm going to do a little bit of the same thing today. Um, and this is what I do every morning and throughout the day periodically when I have free time. I just look at the new listings that are hitting the market in Tarrant County, just so I can get up to date about what's around um, the kind of homes that are being sold, the price points, the areas, uh, the style, the, the, the quality, and all that good stuff. So let's hop on over to the MLS. Uh, which is the multiple listing service here and this morning uh since the <laughs> you can hear it, my voice how tired i am <laughs> it'll warm up don't worry um but uh, the mls since this morning there's been eight new listings in tarrant county more specifically um it is the um eight single family homes i'm not looking at the condos down uh, townhouses half duplexes mobile homes all that stuff uh, there is tons more listings uh, that I'm not really focusing on. I'm mainly focusing on the single family homes. Uh, so let's just jump into it. This first one here, let's see here, is 2203 Cloverdale Street in Arlington. This is in Hollandale Edition. Hollandale Edition. Okay. I don't know where that is, <laughs> so let me look real fast. Uh, oh, it's close to the Dalworthington Gardens. Okay. Okay, I do know where this is. This is off of Abrams Street, uh, Abrams and Park Row off. Okay, I do know where that is. Sometimes those subdivision names, I'm like, what? And <laughs> we'll get there. Um, awesome. So two two zero three Cloverdale Street in Arlington, Texas, for one hundred and eighty dollars under one hundred eighty thousand. Whew, still tired. But this is awesome. Let's. It's nineteen fifty five. Uh, one thousand one hundred ninety eight square feet. Three bedroom. Two and a half baths. I'm sorry. One and a half baths. So a total of two baths. Um, and then one covered parking spot. One hundred and eighty thousand. Uh, this is being listed by Jones uh, Papadopoulos and Co. Uh, let's check out these pictures. That's interesting. One hundred and eighty thousand in Arlington. That is crazy. So it's pretty cute. The front is pretty cute. It has a little porch, and of course you can see that covered. Uh, covered patio and looks like a little barn house door and you all know how much I love trees and there's a giant tree in the front yard which uh love it looks like it has gas Ooh, I think I know why I don't know if you can see this let me see if I can zoom in any for you I can't <laughs> the picture wants to say the same size that's that uh oh well hopefully you can see it but right here there's that I don't know if you can see it in stream, but there is a obvious crack in the wall and foundation. So that was definitely probably a huge foundation issue. Uh, it looks like the whole wall and ceiling are separated. But this looks like the living room area slash dining room area. Um, oh, there it is. You can kind of see it a little bit more here. You see how that's coming apart? Definitely want to get that checked out. And you can even see the tile is cracked here and there. More than likely, that's why it's at the 180 price point. Um, but for an investor, savvy investor, somebody who can... Uh, um, Get a good deal with the foundation company. Still 180 for Arlington. Pretty much anywhere in Tarrant County. That's still pretty good. Because uh, it looks like everything else is pretty decent other than the foundation. Probably need, need baseboards. This looks like uh, probably the master or one of the spare beds. Uh, again, that's in here. Yeah, that foundation is pretty much everywhere. You can tell. Um, so most of the time, um, they're settling in houses. It's very common to have that. Uh, especially in this in Texas where the the weather is so crazy it gets really dry for a long period of time and it gets really wet for a very, very long period of times and that it causes this uh, soil in the ground to expand and contract and expand and contract and when it happens your house shifts throughout the throughout the throughout the year and when that happens natural settling happens and there's sometimes there's cracks and that's why it's not always important um, or it's always important to have somebody evaluate the foundation when you're purchasing a home um, just so you can see is this a settling crack or is it something a little bit more is the foundation actually in jeopardy um, with this one especially with it being multiple places and definitely really thick this one definitely has some uh, issues but right here you can tell on the window as well there's some foundation issues but this is a pretty decent sized room Another angle of that room. Yeah, almost every single corner has something. And even, yeah, it looks like over here in this wall too. Uh, this is the front. Oh, that's not the front. Oh, that's the, 
Oh, I see where it is. Okay, so this is walking in from the front door. To the left is your dining room. Then you have a hallway here in the middle, and then over to the left here, or over to the right here when you walk in, that is the living room. See? Well, that's the same area. I thought that was a bedroom. See, this is why it's always important to have those schematics laid out, because sometimes pictures are get kind of confusing. Uh, but yeah, you can see that right there, the... Um, Backsplash right there is pretty cool too. This is built in 1955, so definitely needs a little bit more updating. Wow, that's a big one up there. Definitely can see why it's 180. Needs a stove too. Definitely not qualifying for FHA, probably not conventional. So cash only deals on this one. Yeah. Whew, that is a blue room. And that, yeah, that shower tub. Definitely use some TLC. Yeah. So now I know why it's 180 and below. Wow, this is a different room and you can even see it here. Right there, like another, another crack. So yeah, this one definitely needs a lot of work to be done. But like I said, with the Savvy Investor, as long as you have the capital to do it, uh, Arlington is, is a great school district. Arlington ISD. Oh, there's a pretty kitty outside. I've never seen that one before. I have a lot of strays. Um... The little back, now the backyard is actually pretty decent sized. Wow, yeah, it has a little shed too. The It looks like the bones on the outside, like the, I don't really see stress cracks in the bricks in the back. But, okay, yeah. Yeah, with a little TLC, this one would be, would be, would be okay. Definitely would have that checked out a lot though, because that can get, that can get very pricey. Very, very pricey. Let's check this one out. All right, five, two, <laughs> four, four, two, zero, five. My goodness, you can hear my voice. I'm, I'm tired, I'll go back to bed. Uh, ever since I despise, I hate so much this time changing stuff with the daily savings time, springing forward, uh, falling back. The couple of like that whole entire week, because I'm, I have sleep troubles anyway, and that just throws them off of my schedule even more. And I'm just, it's, it's awful. I hate it. I want to get rid of it so bad. <laughs> anyway, 4205 South Hughes Avenue in Fort Worth, Texas. So this is uh, in the Golden Gate edition. Oh, wow. That's two for two. I'm not sure where Golden Gate is either. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so it's right here, uh, which is close to Meadowbrook, and I live in Meadowbrook. <laughs> I just moved into this area, so don't judge me. I need to walk around and like really drive around and learn the subdivisions names over here. But that's actually really close to where I am. So let's check this out. Uh, this is two hundred nineteen uh, nine, so essentially two hundred twenty thousand. Also built in nineteen fifty. Oh, this one's fifty six. Nineteen fifty six. One thousand three hundred ninety one square feet. Three bedrooms. Uh, one full bath and two half baths, which is that's that's unique. Two half baths. And it, have, it looks like it has one garage. So let's try this one out. Something I love about this area is that there is a lot of trees. There's like trees everywhere. There's a street down the road that's just lined with them. And for the hot new year, they put little ribbons around it. It was really cute. Like all of the trees had red ribbons. It was adorable. Um, so this one is a pretty, pretty decent looking house on the outside. Uh, white and gray, very modern, fresh, fresh-ish kind of paint. It looks like you have the side here. One garage and maybe even a backyard entrance from that gate, it looks like, which is nice. Additional parking, things like that. A small little porch. Let's see what they've done inside. Ooh. <laughs> okay, so of hands. Who knows what this little... Can you see that in the stream? I don't know. Um, who knows what this little thing is? It's so funny when I, when I uh, work with the younger clients. Someone had to explain this to me, too, by the way. Um, when I first came in uh, into real estate, I was showing a house... Um, to an older generation, they had it been probably late 50s, maybe early 60s, somewhere around there. And I was like, I was confused by it. And they obviously puzzled, I was, saw my puzzled look and they're like, do you know what that is? And I was like, I, I want some kind of like, you know, storage thing, maybe for, <laughs> I'm trying to guess, trying to be all like, I know what I'm talking about. And I was like, maybe it's like a storage thing for a statue or books or whatever. And they're like, well, you're not far off. This used to be uh, where you put your telephone and underneath there was a little cabinet for your phone book. So that is a telephone holder with a phone book uh, uh, spot underneath. So funny. Anyway, other than that, <laughs> that was a blast from the past. But this tile, you know how much I like that kind of tile, that kind of wood grain tile. Actually, this is the LVT, the luxury vinyl planking. Um, so this looks to be, 
long hallway, and this is probably one of the rooms. They can actually kind of, I don't know if you can tell in mine, we have the gray kind of walls too. It's very popular at the very moment. We use something called gray cloth. Uh, not a room. They tricked me again with these pictures. This is the living room. You can see that's the front door. They set up their office in the front and the little PlayStation in the back here, right there. So that's cute. <laughs> you have the old style uh, round uh, vent covers. That's funny. Yeah, this flooring is really pretty. And it looks like they scraped the popcorn ceiling, so goodbye there. Ooh, that kitchen is pretty. It looks like there's a, a fake butcher block here, a little granite right there, and the subway tile in the back. Love the subway tile. We had we got subway tile on ours too with the black um, uh, grout. Little coffee station. Now this is, oh, that's cute. No, I like that. Looks like it has newer appliances. <coughs> Ooh, I swallowed wrong. That's what she said. Ooh, um, awesome. This is this is really cute. I enjoy this. For 219 or for 220, this is a good starter home. Absolutely. 1391 square foot. Yeah. This is the spare. Obviously they did some updating here throughout, so that's good. Look at that. And that's a pretty decent sized room right here. Because that's a I think that's a queen, so yeah, probably a little bit bigger than standard. <laughs> Look at little Grogu. Hi, Grogu. How you doing, buddy? I love watching pictures and, and seeing things. I'm like, oh, wait. Ha, that's somebody there. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is definitely a big enough room. Oh, they have a little Jigglypuff. Man, I want somebody. put on my. I'm going to put on my wish list. Someone to buy me a king size. Um... <laughs> Pokemon bed sheets, please. Thank you. Uh, aspirational goals. <laughs> but oh, this is a very big, very big room. If you can fit a bunk bed there, um, and then and a race car looking thing. So, yeah, decent sized backyard, big enough for a trampoline. Ugh, so sad. They cut down a little tree. That's okay. It happens. Sometimes you have to cut down trees because it's the jeopardy of the house. But man, it makes breaks my heart. I love to. I hate to see trees breaking down. Uh, no back patio, but that's okay. They look like they put little planking down, probably from the uh, what looks like a fence uh, previously. Um, but you can build a patio back there. And actually, you could build a pretty big patio, probably put a pool back there too, and still have enough space for yard. Uh, so yeah, this is a cute home. Um, it is next to Meadowbrook, like like I talked about yesterday. If you're on the stream, uh, Meadowbrook is up and coming probably the next five or so years. Uh, a lot of a lot of homes are already being renovated. I mean, that's what we did. We purchased this duplex and renovated it. Um, there's like two or three other homes down the street that are already currently being renovated as well. And obviously, this one, which is not too far from where we are, also was renovated. And then for two twenty, that's pretty pretty good. Um, so if you're looking for a first time home buyer, this is a pretty decent one if you want to stay close to Fort Worth. Um, awesome. Let's move on. Let's see this one. This is in Fort Worth in the East Green Hills subdivision. I ooh, I, I know this floor plan. I've seen this floor plan. I was like, have I shown this house before? Not this one particularly, but um, so this is 7125 Norma Street. Uh, this is in the East Green Hills edition. This is 325,000. Uh, 1960 is when it was built. Good old 60s. 2,158 square feet. Huge. Um, you do have three bedrooms and you have two baths, uh, two living areas, which is always nice in one dining area. Uh, this sits on a 0.27 acre lot. So this is by Texas Signature Realty. Let's look at these pictures, see what it got for us. Yeah, this is a cute little home. Uh, two car garage, which is always nice to have. I've never had a garage, um, oh, ever. Oh no, once. We had a short stint that we lived at this place in Weatherford uh, for about two years. We had a garage. I remember because uh, I used to go out there and sing in that garage because it was the only place that wouldn't echo. <laughs> oh, this is from the 60s. Look at that wallpaper. Uh huh. But it has a built built in. I do love built ins. I would probably paint it or at least refinish it to get that old kind of um, wood out, maybe a little darker wood, uh, modernize it a little bit more. But definitely, this wallpaper is everywhere. Ooh, yeah. The carpets probably, I just feel, I don't know this for sure because I've not seen this house. I just feel like this is a smoker's house. It kind of feels like one. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, those green countertops in the kitchen. Obviously a galley kitchen. It does, for for that, it does have a, a pretty decent amount of counter countertop space and cabinet space. A little hard to see in the photos. 
um, older appliances, but double oven, which is always nice. <laughs> Look at that chandelier in the kitchen. Oh, they're the fireplace in the back too. Now it's cute. And it looks like they have exposed beams up there. Yeah, this one definitely needs a little bit of updating, but it definitely has that farmhouse feel, a ranch house feel. Feel? 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 Wow, it's too early off. Uh, it does have dividers. This is a very big trope in the back, uh, uh, in the past. Um, all of the living spaces would be up front and then you have a door that you can close off. This one has accordion doors, but sometimes it's just a regular door to separate you from the rest of it. That way you can be all dramatic and being like, I'm going to bed, shut the door. As your guests be like, a oh, gasp. Um, obviously, there's a little problem right here, if you can see that in the stream. Um, with the carpet, so I'm sure there's that probably carpet is pretty old. Maybe not as old as the 60s, because it doesn't look quite 60s, it looks more 80s to me, but it's older. Oh, look, they have a little vanity in the master. That's cute. I'm a sucker for buildings. It's, it's just like so functional and so pretty. Um, bathroom, pretty normal from that era. Yeah. <laughs> nice room. These photos are kind of hard to see, and I wish they were a little bit elongated. I can see it a little bit better. I like the statues in the hallway, though. That's nice. This likes to be the master. Ah, oh, the pink tile. Gotta love the pink tile. Um, and the step and shower. Not a fan of the step and shower that are enclosed like that. Like I said, I'm a bigger person. I don't like to be cramped. <laughs> Ooh, a pool table. So this is probably upstairs. Yeah, this is that upstairs area. Uh, so as a pool table, you can make that a media room or anything like that. That's a pretty decent size. Oh, and a decent, decent size backyard too. Yeah, that's cute. You know, it, with a couple of more updates, this would be a fantastic home. Um, especially, I mean, three bedrooms, two, two bathrooms, yeah. 2,158 square feet, that's definitely something. That's worth checking out. Um, this is Lassiter edition, um, eighty-five thirteen Prairie Dawn Drive. Uh, this is three hundred fifty thousand. It was built in two thousand two. One of the newer ones we've seen today. One thousand nine hundred forty-eight square feet. Um, this does have an HOA, however, it is four hundred dollars annually, which is not too bad. Uh, and then we're looking at a two-car garage. This one is listed by Andre Beatty uh, Real Estate. So let's look at this super cute neighborhood. Yeah. Was it the Lannister? No, Lannister. Lassiter. <laughs> this is the house of Lannister. Um, again, trees on the front. Love it. Those bushes are a little too close for my comfort to that, uh, to the home. It probably needs to be brushed out. You know, you can't really, you really see if they're touching. It's not supposed to be touching. Um, little entryway here. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so you have a, looks like a hallway closet right off the front door, which is really nice. This is a shared living dining room experience so definitely kind of an opener kind of four pen i've seen this four pen before or something similar to it anyway so that's the dining room right there that you can see here and then it shares with the living room so or you can just make it one giant living room you know i like that flooring too that wood style floor but it's it's that it looks like to be the laminate so popular right now because it's, it's more resistant than um than actual hardwood floors they're less likely to scrape uh, yeah, this seems like 2002 for sure. They've done some updates, like with the chandeliers. That's not 2002. That's a little bit more fresh. But the cabinets, definitely. I would stain those or paint them white. Uh, add some hardware. Uh, gas oven. Oh, love cooking with gas. But it does have a built-in microwave, so that's nice. This is a very cute starter home, absolutely. Oh, it has a little pantry, and right next to it, it has a little station. Station where you can do your homework. A little built-in office. That's cute. You have a little, a second little dining area, it looks like, on the opposite side of the kitchen. And then you have your formal living room. So two living spaces. Uh, the second one has, yeah, I think this is a, I want to say it's a Lennar home, but I, I don't know. I, I, this floor plan is very similar. I've seen this floor plan several times before. Um, yeah, starter fireplace or gas burning fireplace with this new uh, second little addition here back there. I'm pointing at the screen like you can see where I'm pointing. <laughs> I have to use my mouse. Uh, back here is going to be the master. Uh, yep, this is the master with a little nursery. Oh, that's different. I like that. It has a little nursery on attached to it. That's cute. 
That's really nice, especially for new parents. Having a nursery right off the side of it, or you could utilize it as an office if you don't have kids. Having an office space that's outside of your bedroom, absolutely wonderful. Um, of course, you have your 2000s shower with a glass shower right next to a garden tub. Uh, very, very normal. And then a walk-in closet's in there. Yeah. Little vanity area in the master room. It's cute. They've done a little bit of updating. Like some of the hardware doesn't look like it's 2002. It looks a little newer. So, uh, backyard, pretty decent sized backyard for that area. Not too bad. A little she shed or storage shed. Yeah, this is cute. Uh, so of course, this is an HOA. You do have amenities. This is the pool area. Uh, it has a little like kind of green belt area. Um, so green belts, you can't build on green belt. They're, they're protected. Um, so you, they're always going to have the space of green back there, which is really nice. Um, a little community swimming pool. Yeah. Yeah. Very super cute. Absolutely. Uh, so this is the last area edition 350 for, uh, for four bedroom. Yeah. That's pretty good. Let's move on. Let's see what we got next. Bear Creek. Mm, Bear Creek edition. I have a feeling I know where this is. It's in Keller. There it is. Yeah. The Ranchette Estates. Bear Creek. Oh, it's right by Golden Triangle Boulevard. Okay. Yeah. I thought it was a little further than that. But yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a, a great area. 370. Yeah. Sounds about right for that area. 2005. Uh, 2,955 square feet. This is almost 3,000 square feet. For under four hundred thousand, that's that's pretty good. HOA is two hundred and twenty annually, so it is mandatory there. Three bedroom, two and a half bath, a two car garage, no pool, but it's all right. This is listed by Top Hat Realty. Let's check this one out. Ooh, I like the coloring in this one. Also, an open floor plan. Uh, you're opening up to the living room, uh, formal, and probably the dining room is right to the our dining room kitchen is right to the left there. It might, if, well, not maybe it might be. We'll see. Um, very boxed kind of house, not my favorite um, style of house, but it's all right. I do like the pillars though. I would do something with the pillars, like wrap them or paint them a cool color, matching the door probably. That would look really pretty. But I like the I like these floors, those really dark gray floors. Absolutely. So walking into the living room, you have this living room space connected with the formal space uh, by there. So this is a giant giant space you can a lot of entertainment you can separate it like they did uh which i think is kind of smart they have like a they box it in with with their couches um and then they have another space over there to kind of break it up a little bit not like that <laughs> yep and this is right to the left of there they have dining room and then your little kitchen there yeah nice little ooh yeah little pop of gold i would definitely take this gold and like throw all the hardware as gold too, to just kind of tie that in a little bit. That'd look really nice. Half bath downstairs, which is absolutely wonderful. That way your guests don't have to go upstairs to use the restroom. <laughs> I've seen this floor plan before, absolutely. Um, this is very popular over in that Keller area. Uh, Keller and Justin, I've seen it. That's why I saw this one. I think it was in, technically it was in Justin. Um, classic 2000s garden tub shower combo. Decent size walk-in closet for the master, absolutely. This next will be the upstairs, a uh, little, what do you call that, loft area, the second living room upstairs. <gasps> There's that pretty kitty again. He's coming to our front door. Hi, kitty. He's very cute. Sorry, I got distracted. Um, anyway, <laughs> let's continue. Uh, spare bedrooms. This is the spare bath. Uh, just a normal kind of, I... The, the, little, the little inserts right here, I, I would prefer it for a tile. I like the tile showers. This is more durable, technically, I guess, but I like the feel of the, of the, of the tile shower. Pretty decent sized bedrooms, yeah. And uh, yeah, pretty, very similar style of the backyard as uh, <clears throat> all the ones in, that, in, those, in those areas. So yeah, that's actually pretty good. It's It's a huge space for sure, so. 370 for that Keller ISD. Yeah, it is Keller ISD. Yeah. yeah. So Keller ISD is probably one of the best school districts. So that is definitely worth it, in my opinion. All right. Let's see what we got here. 6659 Dick Price Road in Mansfield. I know where this is. Dick Price Road. That's over by Kennedale. 
uh, down in, uh, a little bit more south. 400,000 almost, $1 off. So you save that yourself, yourself a dollar right there. 1968, 2,763 square feet. Wow. Four bedrooms, two baths. Uh, ooh, and this is 0.9 acres. This is almost an entire acre for four. Yeah, for 400,000 in the Mansfield area. Okay, so I didn't know if you, uh, I'll try to post it. I'll try, try to find it and post it, um, attach it to this comment afterwards. But I've heard something in Mansfield that they're trying to create. Um, there's a lot of, uh, of development happening in that area. It's gonna be blowing up. So this 400,000 is gonna go up in the next probably 10 or so years. Uh, but I believe it was in the works. I don't know if it was a plan or if they have approved it yet. I'll have to double check. But they're trying to make a huge um, Hollywood-esque style space. Uh, and I believe it's going to be in that Mansfield area. But I'll double check and then post it in the comments later on when I find that article. But it was pretty interesting. I was reading it the other day. Um, who is this by? This is EXP Realty. Let's check it out. So cute. You have the little white picket fence out in the front on your porch carport oh that's interesting it doesn't have a garage ah no no car garage it's just a carport you have enough space for the point nine you could probably build a detached garage if you if you want but a carport that's fine uh do love the porch so ooh, that is a, okay so hmm i'm conflicted <laughs> so you know how much i love a sunken living room and it's technically not sunken because this space back here and the space here are elevated uh and that one is is oh i guess it's sunken right there too so and, and technically it's a sunken living room and it's a little bit but this would i'd have to see it in person because i'm not a fan of the paneling but since the the top is probably cedar wood as well and the, mm, i'm conflicted i don't know this is a better shot for sure. Yeah, because the, let me see if it has a better shot of the fireplace, it doesn't. This is the fireplace here, which is really cute. Uh, very, I think I, I think I'd be okay with it, seeing it in person. I think the, the video or the photo is throwing it off for me a little bit. Um, that's a lot of wood. That's a lot of wood, but a very cute kind of farmhouse-y ranch style house. I could get behind it, but I really like this. I'm not usually not fond of having stone and brick combined together but in this fireplace the way that they've done it and since they kind of match each other that's really pretty i also like the shiplap wall behind it but that's just, that's a lot of wood what do y'all think morning wood <laughs> call hr um in dining room this is the dining room area here uh you can kind of see right here on both of the windows, there's a little bit of a foundation stress there. So definitely would want to check the foundation out on this one. Not nearly as bad as the one we saw earlier today, but definitely something to check out. I mean, this home was built in the 68, so, you know, it's all good. Uh, living room, dining room right off of the kitchen. So that's nice. Dining room part two uh, has a built in and another fireplace. Wow, two fireplaces. That's nice. I mean, it is almost 3,000 square feet, so there you go. Um, yeah. This is an interesting layout. This is hard to, because that's the front door right there. So I guess you can go left uh, to see that other dining room that we were seeing earlier and take a right and see the other living room, maybe, I guess. Probably one in the den, more, more than likely. Back in the day, they did that. Living rooms and dens and whatever. Uh, galley kitchen right here. They've obviously have updated it since the 68s. So you have the glass stove top there. Uh, it looks right here. Kind of hard to see, but I bet that's the same, uh, same older style. And dishwasher. I like the granite. It's pretty cute. And of course they added the backsplash. Um, yeah, they've opened it up a little bit. So man, this paneling, man. Bedroom number two, bedroom number three. The problem that I have with paneling, I know it was very popular back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, it just reminds me of like a mobile home. Uh, in, even if you paint it, you can still see those lines. And I just, I don't know. It just feels, I don't like it very much. I, I would rip that down and put actual uh, walls up. That is the blue, baby, is that blue. Um, I do like this over here though. That's really pretty. I wish they had kept that all over or even put it in the shower i like that tile though wow no that's really pretty tile uh it looks like there's two bath sinks though which is nice with wallpaper this is the master here oh look at that it has crown molding gotta love crown molding right oh hey lacy how you doing that blue is oh, you like the blue over here 
Yeah, you love color though. It's a cool blue, but that's a that's a lot of blue. I like the tile though. I really like that tile. <laughs> I do like this flower. So I'm I'm a I'm a nerd like that. This older style stuff like that. I hate it and I like it at the same time. Would I have it in my house? I might. How are you guys doing, the dangerous stones? So this is the master. Oh wow, that's a lot of space in the master. My gosh. You have this side right here, and you have this vanity over here. <laughs> Hey, Kia, how you doing? I know that wallpaper, this one here, and the master, it's pretty intense. A lot of painting. <laughs> so, Lacey, she, uh, I helped her buy her house last year, and they've done really cool paint. I don't know if you can post it on here on your comments, uh, but go, go to her Facebook and check it out. Uh, but she's done really cool painting jobs, uh, splashes of color everywhere. Um, I haven't seen all of it. I only saw, I think it was just the, uh, uh the pantry that you did. Um, uh, man, this is so much wood, y'all. This is the sunroom or the solarium if you're bougie. But it overlooks the backyard, which that backyard is, you can't beat that. Like 0.9 acres, almost a full acre. Yeah. Look at that. That's pretty good. Like I said, in Mansfield, man, that place is going to be, it's going to be, um, developed so much uh so definitely if you're interested in in a home that you can maybe do a little bit of tlc to uh throughout the years um that four hundred thousand dollars that price point is going to skyrocket absolutely we have two more left let's check it out another one in keller isd uh let's see this is 1529 shadow brook in the shadow brook place edition uh 1991 the year i was born because i'm a baby i feel old though my gosh i feel old <laughs> 1080 uh 1870 square feet four bedroom three bath uh two car garage let's see this is uh by century 21 mike bowman uh 509 uh, almost 510,000. I always think that's funny when they have it like 100 under. Uh, just It's for the algorithm and for how people search things. Uh, it shows up a little bit more often, but essentially 510,000. Um, yeah, so this is in Keller ISD for 510 for four bedroom for a little less than 2,000 square feet. That's a little bit more what I, I, I've, I've been around in Keller for sure. Let's check it out. Very well manicured yard. Does it have an HOA here? No HOA. That's pretty good. Uh, they maintain the yard really well, though. Love that tree. Love those little cute bushes lining it. That's cute. Like the colored door. Ooh. That is the skip trial kind of uh, skin coating that they have on the on the texture. Not my favorite. We had that in our house in, in Weatherford um, when my parents did, except it was brown and not this gray because back in the 90s, uh, early 2000s, brown was like the thing to do. Um, so I, <laughs> I have bad memories of that place. <laughs> so I don't like this style of skip trial. It looked like it was only in the entryway though. It looks like the rest of it uh, is either an orange peel. I think it's an orange peel everywhere else. But can't beat an entryway. I don't have one. I really want one. Uh, looks like you have the wood laminate everywhere else. Fireplace is nice. I would probably paint that fireplace. I do like the lighter style there, but crown molding, but it has popcorn ceilings. Gotta scrape that off, y'all. They have the barn house door. I I have a hate love and hate relationship with barn house doors, I swear. Uh ooh, shiplap wall in this little office space, which is cute. Nice little background for videos and things like that. Galley kitchen. Uh it looks like that's yeah, I kind of actually like that. It has it's that kind of kind of modern gray. Uh, it has that marble style short or small tile. That's cute. Matches the granite countertops really well. I would take out that fluorescent though. That light right there. Definitely get a new either like a chandelier or some nice modern recessed lighting. <laughs> no, yeah, I know. I know. We tried to scrape. Remember, we tried to scrape one of ours. Let me tell you, it was a, it was an awful experience. We spent like six hours trying to do one room, and they were like, "We're not doing it. We're having someone else do it." Apparently, there is a machine that you can rent from Home Depot that, like, essentially, it's a sander, and you can just sand it off. And apparently, it's a lot easier. Messy, but a lot easier. We can take a day of it if you want. I can try to help you. <laughs> That'll be awful. Uh, 
I don't know if I can follow this. What is this Instagram here? Oh, is this your Instagram? Oh my gosh, guys, can you see that? Look at all. Yeah, you can. Ah, uh, so wow, that's so much color. I love it. Love it. Man, one of these days, one of these days, I'm going to paint like crazy in every single room that I have. I absolutely love it. Me too. It's, 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 I think it's called skip trial or sometimes it's called, cro uh, no, not crow's feet. This is crow's feet. Uh, it's when you take it and you're like, you just like slather it on. Not my favorite. Not my favorite at all. <laughs> Kia and Lacey, y'all two shouldn't beat each other. You have similar vibes. Absolutely. would. I think you would guys love each other. And they have a karaoke room. They, that is like one of the prime features that they were like, no, we want a karaoke room in our, in our new house because they had a little stage in their old house. Um, absolutely. It's so cute. I love it. So this is the master suite with the recessed... Oh, uh, man, that's popcorn everywhere. Walk-in closets is nice. See, this shower looks to be a little bit more deep. I think I would be okay with this one. And then this is very classic setup. Having the two sinks there, uh, two uh, opposite side of the bathtub, you have your two um, his and her, or her and her, or there are these uh, walk-in closets. Yeah, the bathroom shower is good. They obviously like... The wood kind of like finishes. They have this scattered throughout. They had the barn house door. They had one in the office, a little shiplap wall, and in bedroom number two. Cute little best desk. That's cute. If a kid or something, having a built in desk, that's really nice. No, there's not a shower door. There's a, there's a rod right here. So you can hang a curtain. But no shower door. Black wall. Ah, I like the black wall. Dakota would like that. <laughs> Let's do it again sometime. Bye, Lacey. It was good talking to you. Yeah. Jack and Jill bathroom vanity. Man, there's another another uh, plop down uh, shower set. Oh, interesting. I wonder if that's the same bathroom. They have a shower, tub, combo, and then they have another hall bathroom that has a shower in it that it looks to be like the master how many bathrooms that oh it's two three that's the third bathroom absolutely okay sweet so this is the second hall bathroom load picture oh no what happened i freaked it out i wasn't prepared for it oh go back go back go back there it goes so this is the second hall bath there's three full bathrooms, so there you go. Um, this is the same style, it looked like, as the master. So you have the uh, the little walk-in. This one feels better because it's brighter, so it probably looks a little bit bigger. Work shed with electric in the back, so that's awesome. Uh, especially for the hot days, you have a little AC unit. Oh, that's cute. Maybe a little fire pit back there. A little covered patio and a pool. Gotta love it. Yeah, I would have led with the pool. Yeah, yeah, Keller IC with a pool. Mm-hmm. Almost 2,000 square feet for 510. Sounds about right. All right, y'all, let's check out this last one, and then I got to go. I have a class later on today. Uh, Emerald Park Editions in Colleyville. Oh, Colleyville is also one of the... Uh, oh, this is still Keller IC, so there you go. Uh, this was built in 2005, 2,698 square feet. Uh, wowzers. The annual dues 915 for HOA dues. Actually, that's not too bad. It says it's annually. Uh, four bedroom, two bath, one fireplace, two dining areas for 780,000. Uh, this is listed by Coldwell Banker. Oh, and it also has a open house. So if y'all want to check out this open house, you can on Saturday, this Saturday from one to three. Um, or you can always, anytime you want to, just let me know. I'll, I'll schedule a showing for y'all. So this is cute. This definitely feels like a Colleyville house. Uh, very ornate, very lavish. Um, it also has the elevation where the stone and brick combo, and that's very popular in that area. And it also has a swing driveway to the front. Uh, what, it's not just a normal garage door. It has a, like a little wood style. I like the landscaping in this house too. It's really, it's really nice, really manicured. Open it up to the living room and the dining room to the right. 
I actually, I can't tell. I don't think these are black cabinets. I think they're like a really dark, like a coffee espresso, uh, but they kind of appear black on camera. I really like it though. I, I like the I like the darker kind of vibe to it. That's nice too. It also has a little uh, open space here for extra storage. And they go all the way to the seat. No, they don't go all the way to the ceiling. They still have a little thing. Oh well. Uh, but yeah, that's really nice. I like the countertops. Either either granite or white quartz. Um, of course, you have your oven here with microwave. Those look to be new. This was built in two thousand five, so not bad at all. <laughs> Yeah, there's actually additional storage here too, as you can see. That's nice. This is a nice kitchen. It has a pantry and everything. Maybe it is black. I think that is black. Yeah, I like it. I like it because it's not that high gloss matte or a high gloss that we saw yesterday. I think it was yesterday. Yeah, the matte one is is a lot better, or at least it's a semi gloss. Who knows? Um, stamp. These are my favorites. Uh, you have a little um, art space for your statues of Mother Mary and things like that. Um, love it. Chandelier. Mm, this is a game changer. I don't know if you can see it. I wish I could zoom up pictures, but right here, there is a floor outlet. That is a game changer, y'all. Having a floor outlet in your living room, gotta love it. Dining room off to the right there. Uh, yeah, the fireplace is pretty. I, like, I really like the black accents that they've chosen. And this is the master here. Double doors to the master vanity. Um, nice. It has a little little space over here for entertainment outlet, so it doesn't like protrude so much into the room. That's actually a smart design there. I wish it was a little bit deeper. Here we have the master. Ooh, that tile. Is it going to show us a different angle? That tile's cute. It's very very summery. I like that. I also like the tub with the gold accents. That's cute. Uh, they've done a good job in there. I, I like this. I don't like how this is elevated and then oh i guess it's because you're sitting putting on makeup or whatnot uh i wish it were all the same i am a tall person so <laughs> that would come up to maybe like my mid knee not no no bueno uh bedrooms looks like to be a decent size here oh wow that's the utility room gotta love it because it has cabinets and it. it looks pretty spacious you could probably fit a refrigerator there uh, but i really like that tile whoa that's pretty I just want color, apparently. <laughs> I want color everywhere. Uh, I like that tile, though. And they've matched. That's like a TARDIS blue right there. Mm -hmm. This is the bathroom. Spare bathroom. That's pretty. You don't like that tile, Kia? Which one? The This one? <laughs> you didn't like the, uh, the blue tile in the bathroom or the utility tile? Uh, the back patio, I wish it was covered. It is kind of partially covered there, but it, they have extended it and they, I would put a pergola up there or something. Backyard, this is the problem with those, uh, the blocked white. Oh, yeah. I liked it though. <laughs> Wait, are you talking about this here? This blocked white? This little art piece that they decided to put in? It looked like the floor from, uh, from the 50s? This is probably the downside of homes in that area and the Colleyville area in some of the... <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gross, isn't it? Um, I liked the blue beside it. I, I wasn't too fond of that white either, that white area. Which is weird. I don't even know why they did that. It's not like they had to. I just, I just think they wanted a design to break it up a little bit more. Um, I don't know. Decisions people make. But this is the downside to this area that uh, is they always have a very small backyard space, and that could be a downside for some. I know I know some people who are like I don't want to take care of a yard at all, and so having this amount of space back there is probably perfect. But um, a lot of houses in the area have very because the the houses are so big and the lots are so small that uh, it takes up most of it. I know it's true, it's true. The upkeep of it is a much much easier, uh, but I would prefer to have a, a larger backyard too. Um, you do have a community area, of course, since it's an HOA, uh, which is really nice. I've seen this before. Having You have a little pond to walk around, uh, and it has a, all the way down is a water feature. It has a, little, has a little fountain and everything. It's really pretty back there. Little park benches. Yep, Elmer Park. Community entrance, gated communities. Gotta love it. 
Awesome, y'all. Well, that was all of the new listings from this morning. Um, of course, new listings come onto the market every day, uh, pretty much every hour. I'm sure if I checked right now, there'd be even more. Uh, but since the beginning of this morning to when I uh, first started the stream, what, 45 minutes ago or so, uh, those were all the things that were there. But if you're ever interested in knowing what your, uh, what your neighborhood is doing, if you wanna see what homes are coming up in that neighborhood, let me know. I could easily set up a search for you. Um, if you wanna see any of these hosts, hosts? Oh my God, I'm from Minnesota, you know. <laughs> if you wanna see any hosts, uh, just let me know, eh? Um, but yeah, just let me know if you wanna see any of those houses uh, that we saw today or anything on the market. Like I said, this is only Tarrant County and specifically it is only single family, uh, single detached homes. So like condos, townhouses, duplex, mobile homes, single family uh, manufactured homes, things like that I'm not looking at. And it's only Tarrant County, so. There you go. Anyway, it was great seeing you, Kia. I hope to talk to you soon. Uh, I gotta head over to South Lake. I'm doing a class over there in South Lake, and then I have a couple more meetings today. So I'm gonna finish my coffee as I uh, get ready for that. And then I hope to see you all tomorrow, probably around the same time, uh, looking at the new Tarrant County houses. So bye. And I'll see if I can uh, find that. Uh, you too, Kia. Have a great day. I'll see if I can find that um, article about that Mansfield subdivision, uh, that little Hollywood-esque kind of thing that they were talking about, and see if I can post it in the comments. That way you can check that out, because I was I was reading that, and it was, seems pretty cool. That, Like I said, that area is going to blow up probably in the next 8 to 10 years. So, All right, y'all. Have a great one. Bye.